What's up guys, Mr. Cohen here. Welcome to episode two of our distance learning series. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a refresher on equivalent fractions. In our previous video, we defined what equivalent fractions are. Let's flash back to that. All right, to start off with, we need to define what equivalent fractions actually are. Equivalent fractions are two fractions that have different numerators, different denominators, but they represent the same amount. That might seem confusing, so let's do a problem where we show that. Okay, now that we have our definition, let's work on some problems. I'm gonna do one myself first. For this first problem, finding an equivalent fraction of one-fourth, I'm gonna use my favorite strategy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a number, let's say three, and I'm gonna multiply it by both the numerator and the denominator. So when I do that, draw an arrow over here, one times three is three, that's my new numerator. Four times three is 12, which tells me that three twelfths is an equivalent fraction to one fourth. This next one, you're gonna do it with me, okay? So after I present the problem, Pause the video, try it on your own, and then we're gonna come back together, talk about the answer. So we're gonna find an equivalent fraction of three sevenths. Let's use the number four. So we're gonna multiply four times the numerator, four times the denominator. That's gonna give us an equivalent fraction. Go ahead and pause your video now. Okay, we're back. 3 times 4, you should have gotten 12. 7 times 4, you should have gotten 28, which tells us that 12 28ths is an equivalent fraction to 3 sevenths. For this last one down here, that's your independent work. Go ahead and comment on this post. What is an equivalent fraction to 2 sixths? That's it for our refresher on equivalent fractions. Make sure you check our Google Slides calendar and our Google Classroom for what your independent work is today. We will be back on Friday talking about fractions of collections. Till then, stay safe, everybody. See ya.